So I've been shopping my stash this morning and I came up with some things that I haven't tried in a while. So let's just play with them. Um, I'm going to start with the pop face. As you can tell, I'm going to head out to the to the gym. I'm waiting for the crowds to die down before I go. So this look is purely experimental. I'm taking the pop face magnet, putting it in the center of my face where my pores are the biggest. Um, I'm going to try putting them, um, concentrating some out here. There we go. Today I'm going to try, I'm going to go back to the um, Make It Forever Matte Velvet. The um, sample I picked up at Sephora a while back. I never did go back and buy any. I don't get uh, over to Sephora very often. It's, it's not in my path. I'm using the Urban Decay Optic Blurring Brush. To buff this in. I would say this gives you a nice full coverage. For those of us who do not like to look like look natural and don't don't want our skin coming through. It's a beautiful day. Uh, I took Taco for a walk. Taco Bell. T-A-C-O-B-E-L-L-E -L -L -E Bell. Taco Bell. It's like the restaurant, but with an E on the end. And he's not a girl, he's a boy. But, I think with dogs you can get by name them, name it, naming them funny, right? It's like a girl named Sue. Except for it's a boy named Taco Bell. Alrighty. My hair is very dirty. And, um, I got some new shampoo at Ulta yesterday when I stopped by to play. I'm going to use, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and use my Dolce & Gabbana Perfect Mono Eye Color in Nude. Uh... I didn't come across any primers that I was curious about when I was I was cleaning up my makeup room and just browsing through my stuff as I went. And anything that I saw that I was curious about or wanted to revisit, I put in a pile over here on top of my vanity. Alright, that was the fabulous brush that I got at Sephora that I've been lamenting over the fact that I couldn't find another one. If anybody knows of another company that has another, it's like velvet on the end. It's about the size of the tip of a pinky. It, it really buffs out. If anybody knows of another brush like this, let me know in the comments because I'd like to buy another similar brush. Okay. So, oh, I did come across another primer. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so we're going to revisit the um, Buxom 
It's called Wild Side Eyeshadow, Dolly's Wild Side. And since my hair is purple now, this will be fun. I'm going to take uh, one of the nudie ones. Let's see if they have the colors listed. Alright, I'm going to build with Laundry Lover and something or other. Oh, fuck. Laundry Lover and Spoiled Sexy are the two matte beigey ones in there. I'm going to take a Sigma brush and it's an E45. I'm working on a new format for my uh, ride to work. It's going to have to change organically and a little bit at a time as I uh, as ideas come to my head. I'm going to try to get away from the same old, same old, but until I come up with something that I deem to be creative, it's going to be a little the same until, I, until we get there. Um, I do try to stay away from what everybody else is doing and when I say everybody else I'm talking about the everybody else that I watch I've been uh, so what everybody else is doing even if I'm okay let's say I'm doing something and then uh, I cut on one of the videos that I normally watch and uh, I see somebody doing what I was doing not that they're copying me, but just that it's the same thing. I don't want to be redundant, so I'm going to quit doing it. Gotcha? Not that they're copying me, just that I don't want to be redundant. And I want to be doing, and I do want to be doing something different on my channel. So I'm working on a new format. This is. Uh, 24 hour extended eye base by MAC. I'll show it to you in just a second. I'm putting this on my lid. Just the easiest bit. Because I, do, I don't want any. It, it's very sticky. Alright, then I'm going to take the satin sheets and put that on my lid that on my lid that's where I'm going next I'm pa I just needed a pause for a second so I could decide if that's exactly what I wanted to do I'm going to this is uh, from my break uh, the website my makeup brush set my something like dot com they sent these to me and asked me to do a review on them and I did I haven't heard of them heard from them since so they must not have cared for my review I didn't have anything negative to say all right this is the satin sheets. And I'm piling this onto my lid generously. Because I want my lid to be bright. Then I'm going to... T then... That's right, I'm making it up as I go again. I'm going to take the the preckle. Did y'all ever say that preckle? I think it's called Wild Nights. I'm going to put that in the corner. That mirror is too far away. I can't see. I guess I could get my... 
my magnifying mirror. I think you can see my eyeball while I'm looking at the magnifying mirror, right? Let's try that. Oh, yes. That works fabulously. As far as I'm concerned. As far as I know. Love it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm so happy that I shopped, shopped my own, my own pile of requisitions. Love it. Now, I'm going to, this is my Inglot palette, and this is a bright white, and I know y'all aren't going to go buy Inglot, because it's not readily available everywhere, but okay, I'll put the number in the description box. I'm going to take this bright white And put it under my brow bone, under my, on my brow bone, under my brow. Put it on my lid. I'm going to take uh is that aggravating? Is that annoying? Did y'all see that uh despicable me when that little girl was he was saying the conditions that they were gonna have to follow to come home with him and that little girl makes those noises. So no 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 annoying sounds, right? Does this count as annoying? Very. Anyway, I'll play that for you. It's really funny. So now, now when I catch myself doing something annoying, <laughs> instead of stopping, I keep going. All right. This is the, uh, oh, my face looks like shit. Looks like the old fairy visited me last night. This is the Tanya Crooks. I really don't have any pointers regarding my eyebrows. I'm just following the the natural line of my eyebrow. I'm thinking about getting uh, microblading done on my eyebrows. We have a girl at our, um, our Medi Spa that does them, but she's never there when I'm there. I think she's a teacher. Okay, that is the Tanya Crooks Brow Powder. I know, it's not fabulous. I'm not having any fabulous brow days lately. I think it's, I think I need my brows jacked up with some Botox again. At my age, nothing looks fabulous just naturally, you know? It's 
It's a lot of work, a lot of work that goes into not, not looking basic. <laughs> And sometimes I still come out looking basic. It's a struggle, I tell you. Okay. I don't like the way the uh, under eyes are going. Under brows are going. Let's do the um, bottom lash line. You know your name. I will find out your name, so don't try to hide. Heather. Heather said these. Shaney. I guess that's how you pronounce them. Okay. A whole, a whole plastic pouch full of different colors. Ooh, that's pretty. carry it all the way around. Take it around town. I took it up a little higher on the corner. On that. Oh. And then smudged it out. Liking that. That was the Shaney pencil. The Shaney eyeshadow pencil in Luxury. This is more of the uh, purple from the Dolly Wildside palette. Then I'm going to take some more of the beige color. Then I'm going to take the IT CC, CC plus I. No, I'm not going to massage my under eyes with the metal thing. My camera will overheat and we won't have finished our, our look. Oh dear. Well, that's what I need to do is rub some purple in the underneath of my eyes so I can look like I've been So, um, I think we had some candy bar halo top last night It it was okay Um, it had I guess it was supposed to be like a Snickers bar and it had some uh, little peanut crumbles in it and it wasn't Ah, uh, ideal for my braces situation because I can't, I can't chew. That's some more of that purple. Uh, I can't chew, and therefore. Because my back teeth won't meet, so therefore I have to swallow the peanuts whole. So it wasn't an ideal ice cream flavor for me. So far, the uh, peanut butter cup is still my favorite. I'm putting some of this wet under my brow so my bright white will stick better. We're experimenting. I had a little bit of a plan. 
Okay. Did I ever did I mention when that I was putting on the uh, ABH? Pat likes to call it ABH. He thinks he's funny. ABH uh, eyebrow glue. Anastasia Beverly. Hey, this one is faux whites. This is next. I'm not positive Brother Heather sent this or not. Whoever sent this white pencil to me, leave it, leave it in the comments. Is that where I want to go with that, you think? Let's put some of the gold. I think it's called Mink Blanket. These one. Let's put some of that in the tear duct. Let's see what happens. Nice. It's real nice. Let's see what kind of lash situation we got going on. I won't make y'all watch that. Alright, I got my lashes on. I used a pair of uh, Ooh La La 303s that I've used a dozen times. Now I'm putting on the Christian Louboutin Mascara. Oh dear, just dotted my nose. All right. There you have it going back in its little coffin so I don't scratch up its packaging. I'm going to let that dry. I'm liking my under brow. It's nice. Okay. It's nice and bright. Let's do a contour. I'm pulling out the Kiko. It looks nice and cool. It's not so orange. I'm going to use that to contour today. I'm taking the darkest one, putting it at the back, do the hairline. Hello, this is Jenny. They tricked me. They put, uh, they called me from a Folly Beach number. Okay. Let's see if this is dry yet. Now let's sculpt out the nose a little bit. I actually had one of you tell me that you've started doing this since you saw me do it. It is fun. And it does change the shape of my nose, I think. The appearance of the shape of my nose. 
I think I want some more uh, purple. I'm going to bring it in a little further. I'm going to take Rebel Rose by Estee Lauder. I know, it's a mauve theme, isn't it? tried on a new highlight when I was at um, Ulta yesterday. It was by Laura Geller and it was a lavender reflect rose gold. I have an eyeshadow here that I'm going to try to duplicate that with. I think that's pretty. This eyeshadow is the MAC Last Dance. I'll show it to you. And I'm copying something I saw yesterday at the Ulta store. All right. I'm going to take this bright green. It's another shiny. It's Emerald Night, and I'm going to put that on my tight line. Can you see difference? That, that eye versus that eye? Okay, I put it just in the outside and I left the inside waterline white and just put the green in the outside. And on the tight line. Okay. Lips. Did I forget anything in this pile? I did not. I think I showed you pretty much everything. Let's do, let's do powder. I'm going to use, instead of using the La Mer, I'm going to use the Renutrif powder. This is the container it comes in. I'm going to load my brush up really good. Uh, I warn you, it stinks. It smells like burning plastic. Let's put something shiny on the end of the nose. I'm going to take the highlight from the Kiko palette. Put that on the end of my nose. Yeah, I had some like big pores and you know acne scarring and stuff on the end of my nose from when I was a teenager. So if any of you take my photos and frame frame them and blow them up to see my flaws, you know who you are. Um, I never claim to be perfect. I'm just showing you how to look good or better for middle-aged. Okay. Never claim to be perfect. I never have. Okay, I'm going to take the pencil stone. I'm going to take strip down, but it was too uh, warm. And I'm trying to do a...
a mauve thing. By the way, I do not uh, freeze pictures of other YouTubers and blow them up and look at their faces. I realize that they're not mannequins. And unless you're a mannequin, you're going to have some flaws. It's just natural, right? Okay, that was stone. And this is a color from uh, Makeup Forever. It's Rouge Artist Intense number 32. And there's not much of it left because I cut it off and put it in my kit. Okay, let's put, and then this is the Sharon Osborne uh, patent pink that Heather sent me. I'm going to go back and put some La Mer under my eyes. Because they're not as bright as I want them to be. I do, however, like that uh, Last Dance as a highlight, cheek highlight. Okay, I hope you enjoyed um, this little trip through my um, forgotten products. Um, I'm going to let you go now and I'm going to go see if I can get into the gym and get... Oh goodness, today's leg day. <sighs> anyway... I'm going to go, uh, I'll answer some of your comments while I'm on the treadmill. Y'all take care and enjoy this beautiful fall weather. And um, I may surprise you with, it's not a surprise now since I'm going to tell you. I may surprise you with some Halloween looks. Ta-ta.